asked uh, a few a few more uh, detailed questions about Beth and her kidney problem, and, um, and and yes, it's something that has been with her for a while, uh, and there's a reason for it as well. But uh, really need her to to explain that to us, Beth. What? Can you explain why you've had a long-standing kidney problem? I've got stones. You've got stones? Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for a more conversational... Uh, the last time I got an ultrasound, which is four years ago, I got three stones. On the right. Will you be speaking... Wait. <laughs> ...behind um. the curtain? What's this video about? About me? About me? <laughs> Yeah, so because I'm hard-headed, you know, I know already my... No. I know already really? that if something triggered, you know, if I, if I didn't feel anything, I will drink, I will drink soft drinks, you know, and then sometimes also, you know, I just forget cock float if we go to Taliban, because I feel relaxed. Beth always... <laughs> Beth approaches uh, well just this once, and uh, and I'll start. Well, didn't there, there used to be a song, song called "Manana," saying "Manana, Manana, Manana is good enough for me." In other words, Manana was tomorrow, and and Beth, Beth kind of uh, looks at it like that, don't don't you, darling? Yeah, sometimes because yeah. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> yeah, so it just happened like before. Uh, the last time I got a whole abdomen ultrasound uh, during when, when Terence and I already mm. married, before we came here, I'd been admitted in the hospital for, I think, three days or five days, yeah. right? And I got ultrasound and there's already there's sto stones there. But I know that already when I was in, I think, first year college at the time. And that's because of what you used to eat though, isn't it? Yeah, because the cheapest to eat is noodles, right? <laughs> The, the cheapest way is no, to eat is noodles, which is because noodles is around before, way back, it's around 5 pesos, something like that, 5 or 6, six pesos. So if you have one noodles and you have a rice, then that's enough. You know, you, it's like a, it's already filling you up. You know, so that's what that's what we can afford. That's what, what, that's what I can afford. So this now... Is the, she, she's really talking about life as, uh, as a, a working student. Yeah, you know, so... It's very difficult. Actually, it's difficult for me, even listening to it, to think, God, you didn't have any money? Um, how can you go through without any money? It, it amazes me. I think it's, a, when I was grow up, we always have salt food, right? Like dried fish, like salty food, because Nana, you buy some tinabal, some, uh, what do you call that, some fish with stock with. Uh, salt, so, so, that so, that so that it will not preserve. Yeah, preserve. So, but then I think when I was in college, it's because I need, we need just every day, every day. That's what I eat. So I didn't, I didn't think that it will result, you know. So, and then I just realized there's one time that I realized I'm, I'm tired of noodles, right? I'm tired, of, <laughs> I'm tired of noodles. So what I did is, the noodles is six pesos. If I buy a soft drinks, right? If I buy a soft drinks, you know, Jessica, no, Jessica told me when I was being admitted, just because, no, that's because you've been drinking soft drinks, you know. So before, I had, okay, my, if I have six pesos, what I did is I buy a can, one can, what, what, one bottle, small bottle of soft drinks, either Coke, Sprite, or Royal, and then what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm going to drink, and then rice, you know. So in other words, you, you have, it's like a dish. You know, so that's what I... So that's, in other words, the, the, the soft drink is, is the sugar. Yeah. The, it's the sh sugar boost that you need uh, and that we all do. That's why we all drink Coke and we know that it's... Uh, yeah, I didn't know, you know that that's, that's the cause of kidney, you know. So that's what I did until I got fever and then I didn't pee. So my brother, Golyong, sent me to the hospital right so yeah. <laughs> send me to the hospital good the good thing is i've been a working student in the hospital so i i'm admitted without deposit you know so and i got all i also had discount so when i arrived there to the hospital the reasons before is already 
painful, you know, it's already painful to pee, but then it's okay, you know. But then the time that I cannot pee anymore, <laughs> that's the time that Gul Yung bring me to the hospital, my bro- my older brother, bring me to the hospital. And then when I arrived there to the emergency room, right away I was being cut it there, which is really painful, <laughs> you know. I think I so was around a, 16 yeah, or 17 other words, years why, old. Why do something uh, by planning way ahead uh, when you can do it at the last minute in blind panic? You know, because it's it's painful, so you know, it's okay, we, we don't need to go, just drink a lot of water. But then when I didn't pay, that's the time that, oh, we need to go because it's already... Well, that's I think that's the time also the last, I went there. That happened in the last couple yeah, of Yeah, when, when Terence and I married, I also drink soft drinks because I thought it's done, right? So, <laughs> so now... So that, I, that's the reasoning, that's the reasoning. Something, you, you do something and you do it habitually and it causes a condition. And then you stop doing that. Yeah. And then when you recover, you think, "Oh, well, I'm okay now. Uh, <laughs> let's have another coke." <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had. I've been rushed to the. I've been went to the hospital and then having a catheter. So I've been because I think I've been there for two weeks, something like that. So, na, the nana went there. So, you know, it's a, it's an embarrassing. You know, you didn't you didn't take a bath. You know, that's the first time that I've been. You know, when you've been, you're everybody. Everybody looking at you and put the catheter, I, that's the embarrassing moment I ever had, you know. Why? Oh, where did they put the catheter? You didn't know. Oh. You put some, on your, where you pee. Really? Yeah, you don't, you don't experience having catheter? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, so that's, I, that's the embarrassing I got, you know. So, now, I got the ultrasound and I got, I think, three or four, four stones on my other, li- on, my, on my right side, you know. So now it decides that you don't need to. This is book juice. Right? Don't don't eat salty. Drink a lot of water, soap drinks. You know. So I said okay. So now I'm okay, right? See, so, <laughs> see what she said. See, ah, okay. And I'm okay she that stops, that. She stops drinking all of those stuff, and then she and now she's okay. Okay. Well, yeah, let's have another call. I'm okay, and then later on, after a few months, after another year, I've been admitted again because of kidney problem. So that the other thing is, I think after my graduations in college, right? Yeah, after my graduations in college, I've been. That's the third time that I've been admitted, and the doctor says you need to. We need to. Uh, we need to have your operation. You know, <laughs> we need to have your your operation. So my other brothers, my accompanying there. So you need to have an operation because your kidney, because it's really painful. It's like something hitting you, you know. So now I said, okay, doc, you need to get your because in the ultrasound there's still another stones, big stones, right? So I said, how come there's a stones inside my uh, inside me? And you never it's, connected it with all of the yeah. Food I that just you're... so now, so now I've been what do you call that? I've been in the I've been dressing up, you know, like the nurse says, mom, you need to change this one. No, oh, you're no. getting ready for yeah. I've been down operation. already, you know, no, 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 no bra, no underwear because you have an operation, yeah. So I just had my my operation. Your gown. Yeah, my gown. So well, in the elevator because I've been I've been in the third floor. So while well, I'm going down for the second floor, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's very shy because people here knows me, knows me, right? You got me because I've been in the I've been working there. So well, you my, did ha- you, I, didn't I didn't have a ga- you had a gown on, didn't you? Yeah. You weren't naked. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but the inside the operating room, you know that. You got me. Yeah. You, you got me inside the operating room. So they don't I don't take the gown off when you're in the, the oh, Okay, room. that's my mindset. So now I said to the doc when I went there, I said to the doc because I know also that there is a side effect, right? If you have an operation, there's a side effect. You cannot, what you call that, you cannot do anything. You cannot do because it might be affect your operations, right? So that's my mindset. So I said to the doctor, because that I know the doctor. So I said to the doctor, doc, can we can we have some medications and give me some few few days until maybe it will maybe the stones will gone because I really don't want to be operated because in my mind, you know, in my mind, what my thinking is, I don't want to. It's an embarrass. You're, you, I don't have under, you know, you got, you got me? So that's my mindset at the time. So the doctor said, okay, we, we, give, uh, we give you some uh, two to three days and then do it again, repeat ultrasound, you know, because uh, my fever is really high because of the, st- the infections, you know. So that time, the doctor says, all you need to do is jump, jump, jump. 
You know, because my the the stone might go down. You got me? Oh, really? So I jump, jump, drink a lot of water. Dr uh, Did it drop out? I don't know because I pee. I didn't, didn't look. You know. So after after few days, you know, I've been ultrasound again, and the doc in the ultrasound it's getting smaller now the stones. Uh, so you know, because there's also jumping. there's also a medication. You know, okay. and then jump, jump, jump. So that's what I did. You know. So now I thought, oh. I go out and then I feel good. I'm okay. So you have another soft drink. You know, I think that's a third. I think that's my third admission, right? The fourth is yours, right? When when we together. When we're together. When we're together, you know, I we go out. Sometimes we uh, we drink some soap drinks, you know, like that. Sometimes I didn't drink a lot of water because I thought it's gone, you know. But it's already part of my body that it's just been triggered. It get it's worse. I feel worse, you know. So when Terence, I says like that, I I sent Terence to Carbon Market, right, to buy buko. <laughs> so I said to Terence, go just ride a just ride a uh, jeep and then you stop by on the market and then look for buko. So that's what he did for a week. There's one particular stall, and it's just a man and a woman sitting on a huge pile of coconuts and all that he does is he gets every coconut and he d and then he puts it into a bag and and that's what i used to do every day yeah i went and i'd buy two coconuts yeah and he would he would chop them and and make just well that's what that's what i was drinking just now that's what beth has this this huge thing and it's full uh and it's the book of juice but now of course yeah but can that just walk out yeah, I just outside get it. And, and get any number of coconuts. Yeah, but it didn't work, right? It didn't work. It's getting worse. So that's why when uh, I didn't pee, oh, right? Then, yeah. When I didn't pee, <laughs> Terence and I went to the hospital right away because it's it's not just about I didn't pee. It's about the pain, which is really unbearable. You know, sometimes if I cannot get if I cannot uh, bear it anymore, so we w get a taxi and then I vomit in the taxi. Right, because my fever is very, <laughs> my fever is very high. Also, you know, I vomit the taxi and it paid around five hundred or a thousand. No, I had to give the man a, a thousand. You know, sorry about that. Can you? Uh, but he wasn't very pleased. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that so now it's the same. After after medications, I feel better. So I thought it's okay, right? It's okay. <laughs> It just happened when I when I feel okay, I I drink soft drinks. I eat something very very salty. Yeah, well, what what happens is that you you're very good for a day and a half. Yeah. And then you say, oh, well, well, just this one. Like we go into if we go into Taliban and and go into Jolly B. Yeah. You'll order a Coke float, and yeah, if I even, say no. So, oh okay. But yeah, if you less, get the girls yeah, to go in, they buy for me. They buy the coke float. Like like December, I think December, right? Because we did a lot of giveaway last December, and we don't bring water, right? And sometimes we drink soft drinks to get it instead of water because there's no water. Yeah. So I've been suffering Christmas, and then I said to Terence, I will never, ever drink Ever. soft drinks Ever. and just water we alone. Both, we both say this quite regularly. That's it on the soft drinks. Not having any more soft drinks. No, 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 no. Yeah, but it's, I think it's also I think it's also hereditary because my father is also having a kidney problem. You know, so it's just like that. Sometimes it's just I feel good. I it's just there's a man that I've been really really good. Then there's just one time when I feel like what started. You know, so once I feel I've been. Uh, having again, I drink so I drink a lot of boko, and sometimes it it okay, and sometimes it's not. But I keep the prescriptions of the doctor that I had before, and that's what I I drink. And because I don't want to be admit, I try not to be admitted. In well, definitely, <laughs> definitely, I was very nervous about her about the thought yeah, of it just happened. going to hospital right at this time. I mean, the thing is that if you walked in there with an ingrowing toenail, they'd say it was coronavirus, um, for whatever their reasons are. So I was uh, really quite concerned, but I didn't say anything 
and uh, and I let I let things unfold, and then finally, Nanai was quite nervous about yeah. you going to the hospital as well. So, yeah, just sometimes. So she stayed. It's my it's my hard headedness sometimes that makes me you know, hard headed. You know, you know my hard headed, my feel that you know because it's already like it's already in my system, and once it's just been misabuse, what do you call that? Abuse. It has been pulled me back. Well, it doesn't take that much to trigger it if you're yeah. if you're doing the drinks. The trouble is that we both. We're both the same on this. So Remember with we're going along and it's very hot, and we say, you know, I just yeah. Don't because want that last week, <laughs> last week we buy a plastic. We're soda holics. So plastic of soft drinks, right? And then we had soft drinks. I one soft drinks I share with Terence. So I said to Terence, you know, this is really heaven to drink this, you know, because it's very hot here. Yeah. You know, it's very hot. Later, so that's why later in the last couple of days it turned into hell. So none we so every day we have share of soft drinks, so yeah. it's your fault, darling. Of course it's my fault. Because you buy it. Yeah, so again again thank you so much. You know, i everything will be okay. Just need to drink maybe the whole Boko tree. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. I'll help you. <laughs>